Okay guys, as I said in a previous video about the 190 plus cars being removed, they are making a Vinewood Car Club, as they're calling it, which is a complete scam. The only way you can have access to this is if you pay $6 a month for GTA Plus. You heard that right, guys. They removed content that was already in the game. And they're going to make you pay $6 a month for the privilege of grinding for it. The, quote, privilege of grinding for it. Take a minute and let that sink in. We're at the point where we have removed cars that have been in the game since literally day one. The Sterling GT, I'm pretty sure that's been in the game since launch. If not, dang near close to launch. And they are removing it too. Now, that's not an issue for me because I've got pretty much everything in the game. But what about the people who don't have everything in the game? What about them? There are a bunch of people still who don't have everything in the game, who are still grinding, who are still trying to make their own money. What is the point in them even trying to grind if they can't make their own money? I mean, honestly, Rockstar, you guys are scum. You guys are actually one of the scummiest companies I've ever seen in my life. Like, I genuinely despise the, the team that works on GT. I despise you. I despise you people. Because all you are is a bunch of greedy, money-hungry... I'm not finishing that sentence, actually, never mind. But y'all are greedy and you're money-hungry. I just, I don't understand. This is why, this is why I hate corporate greed. This is what it leads to. Rockstar's corporate greed is ruining GTA Online. It's already ruined Red Dead Online. But now it's gonna ruin GTA Online. Just imagine for a second, guys. Just imagine that. Rockstar is so greedy that they'll take away things that have been in the game since dang near launch. And then make you pay $6 a month to have them. And then on top of that, right? On top of that, they have a glitch where you can just lose those cars. Like, if you already have a car that was taken out, you can lose that car. Let's say the Sterling GT, right? Let's say you have that, and you get the MOC glitch because you don't know about it. So you have your Sterling out, you take your MOC back to your bunker and customize it. It's gone. Instantly. That car, gone. Deleted. Done. The only way you're getting that back is if you get GTA+. Plus. And even then, the Vinewood Car Club won't even be out for another month or so. I don't know. I'm on last gen, so I don't get GTA+. Plus. I don't, I don't have the option. I also don't have the option to get those cars back. Because I'm pretty sure they took those cars out on every single platform. And then, they're going to upcharge those vehicles in the Simeon dealership and in the other one. The two car dealerships that you can go into now. They're going to upcharge those vehicles because they have a couple upgrades. So that one million dollar car you wanted is now gonna they're gonna charge you one point five million and they only put like fifty grand worth of upgrades on it. So they're gonna upcharge it by fifty percent when they put what, like five percent? It'd be a five percent upcharge if they were just charging you for the upgrades. I mean this is what I'm talking about, people. Rockstar is horrible. They just want your money. That's all they care about. And you are actually blind if you don't see that. They're just as bad as Activision. They're just as bad as... Well, I can't say Ubisoft. Not anymore, anyways. But they're just as bad as EA. They're just as bad as Activision. So... Do with that as you will. Uh, that's This is my video. This is my opinion. With that, I'm out. Peace.